subscribe now and press the bell icon never miss an update hello everyone welcome to another episode of sharing the screw and today i have with me is uh, abhishek so hi abhishek how are you i'm fine hello how are you i'm good good i hope you are safe and fine as well yes yes super super so abhishek can you please introduce yourself for our viewers uh, yeah so uh, as you know my name is abhishek uh, abhishek gandatra uh, i have done electronics engineering uh, as my undergraduate and right now i'm pursuing a post graduate diploma in management and my specialization is research and business analytics and uh, right now i have been interning with performance uh, analytics and data and uh, i have just completed my internship and i have done projects on sports analytics as well as uh, aircraft analytics amazing amazing so uh, abhishek can you please uh, uh, you know take us back to your uh, preparation when you were preparing for all the ap entrances how how did you manage to cope up and uh, did you join as a fresher or uh, prior to this you had any work experience uh, no i joined as a fresher i did not have any uh, work experience before this but uh, but as uh, when i was in my undergrad i had my own startup running through and i also work with my father so i had that experience so yeah okay okay uh, so which college you did your electrical engineering from i did my electronics engineering from shyan anchor pachi engineering college it's in chembur it's in chembur correct correct yeah. and right now you are doing your mba from which college abhishek uh, ismi school of management and entrepreneurship okay ismi school of management super super uh so uh, abhishek as you said uh, you are right now i think uh, done with your first year internship as well so what was that profile is like and where you were interning uh so as i said uh, my specialization is into research and business analytics uh, which is also commonly uh, people are uh, people know it as a data science so yeah i like i like mathematics i like to crunch numbers so hence i took this internship and this specialization uh, so my first uh, i did internship in uh, performance analytics and data it's a small startup and uh, my first project was uh, to for as because of this pandemic uh, the worst hit industry was airline industry right uh, so my project was on how to revive the uh, this airlines industry after the pandemic so taking the historic data and then making strategies on it was my project and my sp- uh, second project was uh, on sports analytics since, and since because of uh, covid 19 uh, wimbledon was not been held this year so what we did was we did a we did a virtual wimbledon we took uh, previous years matches the data of previous years matches of all the players analyzed it make, made a formula on how the player will win this in this season taking into consideration of uh, weather the pitch and everything so yeah that was our project so who wins this year can you tell me men single uh, yeah so men single was uh, won by nadal okay yeah. super super this seems very interesting i mean crunching the numbers and trying to predict and i think going forward uh, this whole artificial intelligence and data science yes. or data analytics is going to be a big part of our day to day life uh, so uh, okay so abhishek can you please uh, tell us three amazing insight about uh, ismi college which only a student can know we would otherwise not know this yeah so speaking about uh, the uh, speaking about ismi college first thing which comes in every student's mind is the campus we have an amazing amazing campus it's a 20000 square feet campus it's located in lower paris and uh, the, it's uh, amazing uh, the structure the way they have created each and every rooms the big like we have many rooms uh, different types of rooms where uh, the different types of activities takes place like there is a board room to classroom so uh, leaders from companies come come to our college come to our campus they have their board room meetings and we as students uh have an opportunity to witness it so yeah there are many such different rooms and different activities happening all around the year uh, 
the second thing is the pedagogy uh, they have a very mixed pedagogy uh, it's not simply just going there sitting and just looking at the presentations uh, they have a mixed pedagogy they give us uh, live projects live industry projects as well as the theory uh, and the third thing is the faculties the faculties over there are quite amazing quite helpful uh, even if uh, it is not their topic or if they are not teaching the subject and still we need, we think that they are this faculty is uh, can be able to solve our doubts or anything like that they are always up to the phone even during the internship if we are stuck somewhere we, they are just a phone call away they are very helpful in that way so yeah amazing amazing and uh... also from what i have heard as well from some students and some other people outside that they have one hell of a state of art campus where i think you guys have retina scan entries and and, and very advanced technologies like that yes. i'm not wrong yes 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 super super so uh, abhishek can you also tell us how was your uh, whole gdpr or vat preparation as far as isme is concerned what all they asked you and what are Uh, what are the basic things probably that they are expecting from any of the students who is who is wanting to do a mba completely so yeah uh, entrance exams a you need to score over there uh, b they check your confidence they ch- uh, they check your uh, thinking capabilities that the how you think how if if a problem statement is given uh, are you solution driven or not do you have a, a learning attitude that is what they see mainly okay okay and can you tell us a little bit more about your startup as well because it seems very interesting i mean uh, recent years we are looking at so many startups and of course uh, engineers are participating whole heartedly as well yes yes, yes. so yeah uh, entrepreneurship is the heart of our uh, institute it is me school of management as well as entrepreneurship so yeah the, the, that was one of the main reason i wanted to join the school because they have a very a good setup for entrepreneurs and for me yes i have i have started a, a small business with a fashion business partner of mine so what we do is we made customized uh, leather shoes leather uh, leather all leather products but uh, we specialize in leather shoes so we take the measurements of foot and then according to the size we make our shoes and all our designer shoes because uh, if you see there are some people have an issue because, uh, because of the regular size which you get in the market or people have flat foot or uh, the the size of two with uh, two legs are usually different so they are not comfortable and leather shoes formal shoes especially you need to wear for the whole day if you go in an office so to make them comfortable uh, we are uh, making customized shoes for them and whatever design they need we have a designer uh, you give your requirements in design according to it and then you get the shoe of course of course if you are wanting to wear it for whole day you want them to be as comfortable as possible and plus exactly. yeah, it's a personal experience as you said now i can realize that different brands have different sizes for the same you know numberings as well uh, you know yes slightly there is a difference okay super super and uh, so what is the change that you are seeing in yourself after one year of uh, mba in isme compared to what you were when you were doing your engineering uh a communication skills b confidence c uh, my thinking attitude the way i am thinking the way i am looking at things like it's completely changed it's completely different like you do not see a uh, a problem or anything the way it is you need to move around it so that is what a biggest change i have seen in myself uh, analyzing it making strategies to solve that uh, problems thinking about it looking the past it is what i have learned in this amazing amazing uh so abhishek any any pro tips uh, for the students out there how to how to manage their preparation and and how to crack the gdpis uh see uh one thing which i have uh, seen is uh, i i had a habit of reading newspapers and which i have witnessed that is very important uh, also the most important is reading economic times uh, it is very important for your gd 
be uh, i have seen a lot of people like even i have friends that they are uh, very much scared to come into the tech uh, to do the tech subjects like so now mba is not mba it's tech mba uh, marketing is digital marketing uh, finance is fintech uh, supply chain is supply chain analytics or operation analytics hr is hr analytics so uh, people Uh, having a mindset that yes, I do not have a technological, technical, technical mindset, and that is why I want to do MBA. Then it is completely wrong. Uh, you need to uh, so to make a strategy. You cannot just assume things. You you need to prove them, right? So to prove them, you need to analyze the historic data. Now these data are not small uh, hundred rows or fifteen hundred rows, which you can do it in Excel. No, they are uh, tens and fifteens and twenties uh, GBs of data. For that you need to uh, learn Python. You need to learn R. So yeah, you have to have to have to cope up. And because of this pandemic, it is very much difficult. The competition is much higher. You have to uh, beat everyone. The competition is the whole world because now the system is you work from anywhere. You do not have to go to the office, and this is the new normal. So the the competition is not not only around uh, students around Mumbai or students around India. It's the whole world. so you have to be at par and uh, rest things yeah uh, you need to keep reading never stop reading and uh, have a curiosity attitude you need to uh, ask questions never fear about asking questions of why does this happen how does this happen you always need to ask questions however bad the question is or however you feel the question is stupid but still if you do not if you are not uh, happy with the answer you still go and go dig deeper in it very true very true and two things basically that uh, you said that people are usually afraid that they they are, they are afraid that what what their peers might think of them that how how silly this is to ask such kind of questions and one going back to the thing that you said that why you need this whole data is whatever claims that you are making you need numbers to back that up so you need the analytics part involved in that amazing amazing So Abhishek, thank you so much for your time and amazing insights that you have given us, and all the very best for all your future endeavors. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. It's been it's been pleasure to be here. Same year, same year. Thank you so much. Thank you.